All right, welcome back to my video channel. It's Dave. It is Save America. Vote for Tulsi Gabbard. Tulsi Gabbard, the congresswoman from Hawaii who is um, pro-peace, pro-peace candidate. You know, she's the first candidate that I've seen in a long time that when I watch her speak, I don't cringe. I don't get sick. I don't feel as though I'm being BSed. And I know there are going to be people who disagree with me on this list, but obviously we know Trump is, you know, casino landlord. So we know he's just, a, you know, Ringling Brothers, Barnum and Bailey Circus, okay? Um, fun to listen to at times and very entertaining. One of the reasons I voted for him, but then I thought to myself, well, that's not presidential. <laughs> that's long after the fact. But. I wanted the system blown up, and Trump tried to blow it up, but then he imported the deep state. Uh, after he supposedly was fighting some of the deep state, he brought deep state people in, maybe as a gesture to the other deep staters to knock it off. That's my theory on that. And if you notice, maybe if, if this whole Robert uh, Mueller thing goes away, then you know it was a you know deep state arrangement to have John Bolton as a guy calling the shots and telling Trump where we're supposed to bomb next. So, yeah, I would say this has been compromised just a, just a little bit. But if you go back in time, as far as sincerity goes, uh, before Trump, you had Obama. I think Obama campaigned really well the first time, and then things changed when he got into office, like so many times that it does. Uh, if you like war, you can keep your war. Remember, you know, if you like your doctor, you can keep your doctor. Well, if you like your your Middle Eastern conflict, you can keep it, you know, and we'll raise you one or two. We'll go into Syria. There's a red line. You can't go over that red line. <sighs> Before that, of course, we had George W., who um, was one of the biggest scoundrels who've, who's ever been president of the United States. He used the attacks on 9-11 to leverage another election to lie, mercilessly just lie about um, weapons of mass destruction. Let's go to this other country. And at the time, people like me bought it. A lot of people on both sides of the aisle and just regular Americans, oh no, Saddam's going to get us. Saddam Hussein was going to get us? That's ridiculous. I mean, he had no resources. I mean, didn't they find him in some hole somewhere? Which I thought was, you know, it was good that we finally caught him and everything, but um, we should have been catching every single dictator. If we're going to hold Saddam, if we're going to do that for Saddam Hussein, we should have been doing it in every country that has a dictator. And um, needless to say, since we removed Saddam, the region has not been stable since. Um, so there. Uh and, you know, just going back in time, we don't have to go through all the presidents, but I'm looking at sincerity, and when I hear Tulsi Gabbard talk, I hear sincerity, I hear thoughtfulness. Uh, somebody said in a video I watched earlier today, her only problem might be that she's a little too cerebral. And I'm thinking, okay, um, that's a problem I would prefer to have than vacuous and sloganeering and repetitive and um you know it, there are so many presidential candidates i've seen in my lifetime that i knew it was just a pile of bs and even if they delivered the bs uh, you know reading perfectly off the teleprompter i knew it was bs um what the presidents tend to do is they kowtow to their base really well during the primary season and to get the general election support they work really hard you know at making their base love them and then there's a huge swath of people in the middle of the country and all over who are completely ignored you know it's really a tragedy and i think tulsi gabbard so far has been able to speak to the heart of everyone across a few different ideological spectrums and also um, you know from the rich to the poor to everybody in between and that's the candidate we need for president and that's why I'm supporting her 
So in any way, um, if you could continue to support this channel, subscribe to the channel, tell people about it. Uh, I keep threatening to put up some sort of PayPal link for uh, maybe like a tip jar if you want to contribute. Since I'm not monetized, uh, I make videos on this channel and I have a music channel and I take care of a, a five-year-old and I have other stuff that I do. Um, I'm really uh, just pumped up about Tulsi Gabbard and her chances, but we need to, to keep the faith and um, just be steadfast because uh, the media and the establishment on both the left and the right are going to try to uh, demonize her, and I think she's one of the few people who can deflect it and handle it with grace, but um, it's still coming, and it's still going to make us mad and frustrated. Um, so there you go. That's my video for today, or my second video, and uh, there could be more. But for now, I am done. I will see you soon. Take care.